Mr. Cedric Fu. Uh, Chairman, I have two points to share. Firstly, the government adopts cash accounting as opposed to accrual accounting in the private sector. Under such a cash accounting convention, capital and operating budgets are lumped together, even though there's a great difference between capital investments and recurrent operating expenses. The former capital investments includes, I, sorry, the, the former, uh, the recurrent operating expenses includes items like administrative expenses, facility renters, and operations. This group of expenses tends to be sticky, and if not well controlled, could be difficult to dial back. Capital investments, on the other hand, is forward-looking, and invest, if invested wisely, can yield significant returns into the future. In fact, underinvestments in capital ex expenditure may also be bad, as opportunities to reap future benefits may be missed out. Therefore, I would like to ask the Minister if he could share with us the split between capital and recurrent expenses, and how has this ratio shifted over the years? Chairman, my second point is about balance. In crafting the budget, which is a strategic fiscal tool, as the Minister pointed out, really it's not just simple arithmetic, but I think the Minister has to carefully balance many, many dimensions, sometimes conflicting objectives. I can think of several. Growing the economy through an expansionary budget, so as to grow the base, but be careful not to overheat the economy or cause inflation. Meeting the demands for funding or meritorious causes, but can we sustain it? Meeting the needs of this generation and future generations. Helping those who are in need without eroding our work ethos. And creating a fairer income distribution system, yet having a comparative tax rate so that talents and enterprise do not flee this country. These are very difficult and complex issues requiring a lot of judgment, adroitness and so forth. May I ask the Minister to share with us how he had struck the right balance and how and what were his key considerations. Thank you.